Hello and welcome to this session on headless browsers. Today we are going to learn what are headless browsers, why should we use headless browsers, when should we not use headless browsers and we will look at some common examples of headless browsers. We will also look at some useful tips. So headless browsers are the browsers that do not have a UI or a user interface. So when you will run your Selenium test on any headless browsers, you will not see anything coming on the screen but everything will run at the back end. These are some common examples of headless browsers. Why should we use headless browsers? So one of the very common use of headless browsers is when you want to run your test on a headless system like Linux which does not have a UI so you want to use a headless browsers. You would also want to stimulate multiple browser behaviors on a single machine and in the coming sessions we will see exactly how to do this with headless browsers and you want to use some minimal resources you do not want to use the UI you are okay that you want to run your test and you do not want to see the UI but it should do all your testing so in that case you can use headless browsers and if you have a need that you want to run your selenium test not for actual testing of the application but just for some data creation or some bulk data creation in that case also you can use headless browsers now when should you not use headless browsers so headless browsers will not show you anything on the screen so if you want to visually observe your testing that what is happening on the screen you cannot use headless browsers for that also because everything is going at the back end nothing is coming on the screen and the UI is not a part of your testing so you will not get exactly what will be the feedback of your customers because uh, when your customers will use your web application they will you have to consider things like what is the page loading times and other things so with headless browsers that might not be possible also people have observed that with headless browsers you sometimes get some errors and some issues which are not observed in real browser so this might also be one of the cases when you would not want to use headless browsers these are some very common examples of headless browsers in these sessions we will cover HTML unit browser and phantom JS with selenium and here is a link for github and if you go here I will make this link available uh, below the description of the video and if you go here you will find all this headless browsers and this is not a complete list but if you go down whatever is missing in this list people have commented here so you can actually get almost all the web headless browsers information on this uh, github gist let us look at some useful tips so even if you are using a headless machine like Linux it is not mandatory that you have to use headless browsers you can actually run your test on a real browser in a headless mode on Linux and other similar operating systems. So you should read about XVFP which is X Virtual Frame Buffer and it is a display server that can perform all graphical operations in memory without showing anything on the screen. So that means that you can actually run your test cases on a real browser like Chrome or Firefox in a headless mode and these are two links if you go here this is a wikipedia description of xvfp what is x virtual frame buffer and this is an xvfp plugin for jenkins i will try to cover this in some future sessions but just for a very quick information you can use this plugin in your jenkins which can enable you to run your test uh, on real browsers in a headless mode also this is a stack overflow page where somebody has asked this question selenium test execution via jenkins on linux machine without gui cli only headless mode so uh, this person is running his selenium test and it is successful on windows but when he goes to linux it gives some errors and in the response people have mentioned that he can use this xvfp and xvfp plugin in jenkins to run the same so you can read about it it will be interesting and i have mentioned this link here as well also just as an information html unit browser which is a headless browser can only be used with web driver and not with selenium rc 
selenium rc is anyways not actively maintained so there are very less chances that you will be using selenium rc anymore but just for information you should remember that html in your browser will not work with selenium rc let us do a very quick recap today we learned what are headless browsers why should we use headless browsers when should we not use headless browsers and we looked at some common examples of headless browsers i hope this session was very useful for you in case you have any doubts questions or suggestions please do write them down in the comments section below i will meet you in the next session thanks for watching